Hi there, you guys. This is Dragon Ball and Cartoon Fan 2004 here. Um, with you know, I'm doing yet another video recorded by this screen recorder that I found on my laptop that I've you know used to make a few videos with. And uh, yeah, happy April Fool's Day, guys! April Fool's. Yep. Uh, my April Fool's Day is going good so far. Like like TV schedule wise, I would say that it's going pretty damn good since you know there's a good chunk of stuff that I love that's airing that's been airing on TV today. Like for example, if you guys didn't know, um, today. Cartoon Network all day for April Fool's Day is just airing Looney Tunes stuff. You know, they're marathoning Looney Tunes stuff, and they're airing a few Looney Tunes shows like the original Looney Tunes and the Looney Tunes show and the new Looney Tunes and whatnot. So, yeah, that's cool. I got the binge on the Looney Tunes show off of Cartoon Network today, and, yeah, that's cool because that's probably my favorite version of Looney Tunes. <laughs> yeah, I love the Looney Tunes show. It's awesome to be able to watch another Cartoon Network show I love off of Cartoon Network on live TV apart from Gumball. And uh, yeah, also more cool news about their schedules that how their how Nickelodeon will be airing the first SpongeBob movie tonight, and also Disney XD is airing The Owl House. If you guys didn't know, yesterday I got out a video in text sharing my thoughts on The Owl House about how I really like it. You know, after watching the first couple episodes of it, so yeah, that's something to look forward to. And yeah, also Teen Egg will be airing at Carly tonight, and some cool stuff from Adult Swim. The fact. That, uh, you know, they're going to be airing four episodes of King of the Hill. That will be great for me and my family. And also later tonight, they got that Naruto Shippuden on Toonami and whatnot. So, yeah, that'll be cool. <laughs> yeah, a great day. Yeah, a bunch of cool stuff with the going on with the TV today. And, yeah, I'll continue to watch more cool stuff off the TV today. And you know, there's also Wheel of Fortune later tonight, too. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, a bunch of great stuff for me to watch off TV today. Yeah, and but, yeah, as of right now, I'm taking a break from watching TV. And, you know, I, you know, I took a break, you know, went outside, uh, you know, got a couple of drinks from the gas station throughout the course of the day. And yeah, Mr. And yeah, anyway, uh, I checked my YouTube notifications. I saw that Mr. Bean fan Disney 2005, I posted a community post telling me, you know, asking me if I could do a reaction video to this video. He got out today. That's a cast video for his Duncan Shrek movie sequels. Because if you guys didn't know, uh, Mr. Bean fan had already gotten out two Duncan Shrek cast videos, even a trailer video, but they were all just for the first Shrek movie. You know, he hasn't really done too much with the Shrek sequels, but Today in this video, he actually is – he actually did do a cast video for the Shrek sequels. Yeah, he did warn me that there's My Little Pony in it. And, yeah, you could, I could already tell there's My Little Pony in it looking at the thumbnail. <laughs> like how YouTube shows a My Little Pony shot for the thumbnail. Yeah, yeah, he did warn me about that. And, yeah, I already know that. I already know I'm in for some My Little Pony stuff. But I'm sure I'll, I'll find a good chunk of casting choices that I'll like from this cast. Yeah, I recently just found another casting choice I like. From this cast with how he has King from the Owl House as Donkey, my favorite Owl House character as Donkey. Look at how I just got into the Owl House and whatnot. So yeah, that would be cool to see the awesome, the cool duo between Donkey and, and you know King in this Shrek's Poo series of his. It was def, it's definitely much better than how he has Eddie as Donkey. How he originally had Eddie as Donkey for this project of his. I'm sure the Return of the Fossil would agree with that definitely. But uh, yeah, okay. But yeah, I'll be, I'm gonna be doing this reaction video for you guys and. Just so you guys, okay, here's the thing. You guys know how usually when I do these reaction videos, I watch the cast video muted because of copyright? Well, not today. I will actually be watching the video with audio in it, even though there's some copyrighted music in it. But you know what? I don't care. I think it should be fine. Guess what? April Fools! Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm still watching it muted. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. If you want to hear the music, just go watch. If you guys want to hear, if you guys want to see the video with music, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Yeah, I'm not going to risk playing copyrighted music for this video. Even though, yeah, I, I've been risking playing copyrighted music for like my spoof films and whatnot, but not for my reaction video. Sorry. Sorry, but yeah. Um, yeah, you guys get the point. Uh, Mr. Bean Fan wants me to do his reaction, so without any further ado, let's do it. Yeah, and links to Mr. Bean Fan will be in the description below and whatnot. Let's get this started. All right, usual intro picture. Starring, yeah, I got the green text. Duncan and Shrek, love it. Very good casting choice. Can't think of any better total drama character for Shrek. King as Donkey already stated my opinion on that. Originally didn't have an opinion on it since I didn't watch The Owl House at the time, but now that I've seen some of The Owl House, very good casting choice. And Courtney as Ogre Fiona, very good casting choice as well. Uh, my love playing character is Dragon. Uh, Fox from Skunk Fu is Princess Fiona Human. <laughs> Yeah, it does seem fitting, although I don't remember watching the Owl House. Rabbit, a Shrek human. Yeah, I saw another Skunk Fu character. Skunk Fu character comp. Sean the Sheep as Donkey. Oh, yeah, I remember Sean the Sheep. Yeah, I saw the bit of the movie. It has some pretty funny slapstick in it. Yeah, I also remember there was a show that aired on Boomerang as well. It's King. 
<laughs> Jerry Mouse is King Harold Frog. Interesting. Since I remember Vanilla Rabbit Lover 2001 Productions Revival and had Tom be Frog King Harold for his Shrek spoof up for his, you know, Dookie 2 Shrek 2 movie spoof project. Yeah, I'm also, that's also the cast of choice I plan on using for my Shadow 2 Shrek 2 movie spoof project. And it's also interesting because I do remember seeing a Shrek spoof cast one time. It's gone now, but it had a uh, Tom be the normal human King Harold, and in the description it said that it had a uh, Jerry the Mouse be Frog King Harold. Yeah, <laughs> that would have been nice to see, but unfortunately the person deleted his cast video, and you know that Shrek spoof project of his got canceled. But oh well, that was <laughs> that's a pretty funny one. Although I feel like I think I'd probably rather have Bowser be Farquaad. Queen Chrysalis as Fairy Godmother. I've seen a good chunk of people use this casting choice. I'm not even going to describe my opinion on it. Sunil is gingy. Don't have an opinion on it, but it does seem pretty fitting. Augie from Augie and the Cockroaches as Pinocchio. <laughs> and, yeah, it does the Three Little Pigs. Yeah, I'm also using that for my Shadow Shrek series. <laughs> That's a funny casting choice. Might not be very fitting, to be honest, but it's awesome. As an NA fan, I think it's awesome. I'm sure Mr. Bean fan agrees with that. Mr. Bean is Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> Yeah, Re uh, yeah. If you guys didn't see the community post I did recently, go back to rewatch that uh, grocery store episode of Mr. Bean the other day, like earlier this week. Good short. Uh, more Milo Pony characters, and I think I think I might have seen another Shrek spoof film, like in Spanish. She's like casting choice. Ru oh, that's a good one. Rouge the Baddest Doris. That's pretty good. Borat. <laughs> don't have an opinion on that. Doesn't pretty fitting though. And <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, have fun having Donkey give you a hard time. Discord is Merlin. Not good. But him having yourself is already pretty funny. Oh, my gosh. How many of my little pony casting choices are in this cast? Amy Rose is Snow. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. You see, you got the picture from Sonic Prime, too. April, don't have an opinion on that. The Toad is Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> it's from Flushed Away, huh? And one of the DreamWorks movies I haven't seen. Owen is broken. Uh, uh, not very good. I think Owen would be a better choice for someone like Cookie of all those guys of the Ogres. But st still not the worst. I, I mean, I think I want, I remember one time I saw a stretch proof cast that had him be Rumpelstiltskin. And that's probably our worst casting choice for him. Oh, wait, maybe not worse. But, you know, either way, he's still not a good choice for Rumpelstiltskin either. But yeah, that's Shrek's booth cast. Also had Chris as Lord Farquaad, which I thought was freaking hilarious. <laughs> I wish I could revisit that cast. Even though I had My Little Pony in it, I wish I could revisit that cast video, but I don't remember the name of that cast. Like, I don't remember which character he had to be Shrek. In fact, I don't remember any a good chunk, like most of the casting choices from the cast, apart from like Chris as Farquaad and Owen as Rumpelstiltskin. Oh, well. I might find it again one day. DJ is Cookie. Oh, not the worst, but again, I think Owen's a better choice for Cookie. Yeah, if, I think if you want to have a total drama character be broken, it's a, let's see, you already have Duncan as Shrek, so maybe it could have been. I think Break. I think Break from Revenge of the Island would be a good choice for Brogan. But still, yeah. Um, how, what do I think of it? Yeah, there were some pretty funny casting choices on there. Like like I said before, I do really like how he has Duncan and a uh, and a uh, King as Shrek and Donkey. That's really good. And having him having himself be Artie is pretty pretty funny and whatnot. But of course, the amount of point casting choices I don't like, and you know, there's some pretty unfitting ones. But still, but still, there's a good chunk of casting choices that I like. Examples being Duncan as Shrek, King as Donkey, the Eds as the Three Pigs, and whatnot. You know, some stuff for me to enjoy. So yeah, there will be a good chunk of stuff for me to enjoy from his Duncan Shrek series. It probably won't be my favorite Shrek spoof film off of YouTube, but still, I'm sure I'll get a good chunk of enjoyment out of it. I'm sure I'll have a fun time with it, especially with the Duncan and the king duo and you know how he has the ads as the three pigs like i do for my shadow shrek series but uh yeah that's it for the cast video you guys if you guys want to watch the original cast video with the music in it and whatnot i'll leave a link to it in the description below along with mr bean fan's channel and uh yeah this is my reaction video for you mr bean fan and yeah if you guys don't mind i'm gonna end the video and you know continue my day watching the great stuff i can watch off the tv and you know maybe get some more outside time and whatnot so uh yeah, with all that being said, that's all for the video, you guys. Bye, everyone, and thank you all for watching this video.